can hear, at least I can hear myself, so I'm assuming everyone else can hear. If you can't hear right now, I apologize. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and get started. My name is Josh Jenny. Forgive the technical difficulty, uh, but uh, we got that fixed right away. Um, actually, now two computers are going, so uh, there's a backup just in case we have a challenge. Uh, my job over the next uh, two minutes is to share with you what's happening with Secret, how you can advance your business. I assume most of you that have uh, logged on are already part of uh, the secret opportunity. You're already taking advantage of this tremendous business. And my job is to help kind of guide you and get you on the right path so you can achieve uh, the success, the goals, the dreams, whatever it is that you enrolled for. Uh, for those of you that are brand new to Secret, welcome. Welcome to the community. Uh, welcome to the family. Uh, we are really a big uh, community of people uh, that uh, desire to help one another. In fact, our our mission here is to you know, build a wealthy global community uh, that continues to strive to, to do better uh, with one another and improve uh, you know, the future for our children. That's what we're doing. Uh, we've got an incredible vehicle called Secret, which is, uh, as you probably already know, one of the best skincare brands in the marketplace. And we've gone from near a thousand retail locations, uh, 40 countries around the world, now into the relationship marketing space simply because the world's changing. You know, we're, we're moving in that direction. What's great about that is uh, that, that's where wealth is. You and I know it. You know, when you position yourself in front of a trend, you can earn a fortune. If you get involved at the end of the trend, basically you spend a fortune or you're spending money. Uh, you know, some of the things that we can talk about recently uh, that uh, have exploded are companies like Airbnb. Now, if you don't know who they are, don't feel bad because I certainly didn't know who they were just a few months ago. And it is now the number one hospitality company on earth, Airbnb. And they, they don't even own a hotel, to my knowledge, uh, yet uh, they're booking more people into uh, you know, to stay someplace all around the world than all other sites uh, combined, as far as I understand it. Uber. So we've heard of Uber, right? Uh, it's the number one taxi service now on the planet, on earth, number one. And again, to my knowledge, I don't think that they even own one taxi cab. The world's changing. And we know it and position ourselves in front of a trend is where we can succeed. And that's what's happening here with Secret. Skincare is exploding. If you're like me, I wasn't a big skincare person. I didn't understand much about it. But one thing I did know, I've got skin and so does everyone else. You know, they got skin. Uh, you know, we uh, men, you shave. And if you don't shave, this is still great on your beard. Men shaving, balm, got foot cream, uh, hand cream, moisturizers, lotions, eye cream. Uh, skin care, you know, caring for the skin is an important thing to do. And uh, it is a massive, massive marketplace. In fact, what was surprising to learn is the number one growing uh, purchasing demographic in the skincare world is men. Okay. It's, it's us. It's us guys. We're buying like crazy uh, because most of us, we don't want to look younger. You know, everyone, or we don't want to look older. Everyone wants to look younger. Everyone wants to look how they feel. And we've got the best in the world. Of course, if you've seen skincare, you already know it. You've been around uh, the uh, the business uh, or, or uh, the industry for any long. You already know uh, the the massive um, the massive impact that these products are having on people worldwide. Now I'm waiting for uh, our guest speaker. Her name is Stacy. She is actually done a phenomenal job. As far as I know, she has 25 new. Uh, customers this month alone who want to talk to her and find out how she did that. So while I'm waiting for her to, to get on, I'm going to go into to some content. Uh, now, for those of you that I haven't had the privilege of meeting, uh, you know, I got started in this profession in, in 1995. As a matter of fact, I was, um, you know, I was mowing lawns, cleaning, uh, cleaning floors in a machine shop. I was, I was doing all sorts of odd jobs uh, to try to do well financially. Uh, and I, you know, I wasn't raised with uh, with parents that had a lot of money. They did the best they could. They worked uh, extraordinarily hard. In fact, my mom uh, worked three jobs when my brother was growing up with me, and we never saw her. And most of the people in the same neighborhood, they were all the same way. They weren't doing extraordinarily well. And if you're like me, you were probably taught the same stuff. At least growing up in America, uh, where I'm where I'm doing this vision cast, that you know, we're taught go to school, uh, get good grades, uh, go to college, get a degree, uh, go get a job. You know. Work really hard, buy a house, uh, you know, get out of debt and save money. Right? That's that's what I was taught. Certainly, that's what you were taught as well. At least most people. Uh, but if you're like me, you found out that that's just not a good plan. Most of the people I knew that were following that plan weren't doing well. 
and I found myself taking a look at, a, at an opportunity to be in business for myself. And it captivated me because for the first time, I heard things like, you know, your past doesn't have to equal your future, that if you're truly willing to work hard, you can succeed. Uh, you can do well. You can self-educate yourself and you get around mentors, coaches, people who are willing to teach you what to do and how to do it so you can achieve success. And I met these people that really didn't seem like they – uh, had any crazy background, but had gone out there and achieved some of a millionaire status. And there was all walks of life. I mean, I did meet some of the crazy entrepreneurs who built big multi-million dollar businesses and the PhDs who'd gone that route. And of course, I met all walks of life in between that and where I was, a, you know, a high school dropout just trying to figure things out. But then I met a lot of people like that that were achieving success. And I, I just followed a very basic program. We're going to talk a little bit about that this evening, and, and there's a lot of archived information on this website, basicagenttraining.com. In fact, if you haven't liked us on Facebook, please do that, uh, and then explore the site. Go through the archives. Check out all the incredible content that's listed up there so you can educate yourself and get up to par with uh, how this business model works. But again, tonight we're going to be going into structure. I'm waiting to see uh, Stacy back on uh, the the line here, maybe, Jason, you can help do that. If you can get her back on somehow, that would be great. Uh, I'll wait. I'll be able to see her when she comes on. But until then, uh, I'm going to go into structuring your business. I, before I do that, though, if you haven't gone through your uh, blueprint, please do that. Go to your blueprint, uh, which is basically uh, your foundational document that you want to complete. Uh, after you get started with secret. Now, if you're going to build I don't know, a house or you know, a commercial building or a skyscraper, you're going to first start with plans, aren't you? You're going to have a blueprint. It's going to be run out by an architect before you even take a shovel for dirt out of the ground and start uh, ordering uh, you know, lumber and parts and, and uh, equipment and all the things that you need to do to put together uh, a structure. Well, you're structuring a financial vehicle for your success. So it would only stand a reason that you fill out a blueprint. That blueprint's important. It talks about uh, all the different uh, elements of the business, uh, making the list, you know, the wow parties, the basic parts of the compensation plan, and where to start. So if you haven't done that yet, please make sure uh, you do that this evening or as soon as possible. Now, in structuring the business, uh, there's a way we actually build, and I want to talk about that. Right now, now you build, you want to you want to be sharing the opportunity with people, okay? And actually, let me start from the beginning because I think for some of you that are brand new, this may help. If I'm brand new and I'm just getting started, there's no one yet a part of my secret business, whether they're customers or agents. One of the first things I want to do, okay, is do that blueprint. Now, on that blueprint, part of that is the list which is the human beings I know. Now, what I don't want to do is try to recruit those people into my business. Obviously, I want that. Obviously, you want that. But that's not the objective, okay? You don't want to strain your relationships and hurt people or make them feel weird. Sometimes it makes us feel funny, too. And a lot of times, I, hear, well, Josh, I don't want to go talk to my friends and family. And that's silly, though, because that means what you're really saying is you don't really believe in this business. You don't really believe in it. Because if you believed in it fully, you really believe that success could be found here, you'd go tell everybody. Much like if you found a gold mine and you really saw a real gold mine, sure enough, it's gold, there's a huge vein, and you need help getting that gold out of the mine. Okay, you want to tell your friends, you want to tell the people closest to your family members, say, hey, look, I found it, go get it, and you know, leave what you're doing and come because I found that I found a vehicle, I found something that's going to help us achieve success, going to help us get a better quality of life. Isn't that true? Well, of course it is. So, look, you want to tell your friends and family, you know, what you don't want to do is make them feel fun. What you don't want to do is alienate yourself from your relationships or look weird. Isn't that true? You don't want to do that. I think that's what I typically say when I'm talking to my friends and family. Okay, listen. We got to start somewhere. We got to start somewhere. Now, there's also classes on social media, how to go after social media, how to go into the cold market, meaning people you don't know and contact and approach people. We don't have time for that on this particular webcast, although we'll do them 
in the future, and there's some that we've done in the past as well that are archived, you can, you can review. Today's about structuring your business. So I'm just talking about as you're going through the, the methodology of talking to people, sharing the opportunity, all I do, I'm just going to brief over this, is I, you know, I, I demo the products, I share the vision, okay? You know, I, I, uh, I promote something, get them in front, front of other people that are also doing the business, part of your support team. Every one of you has a sponsor that is involved. Everyone who has an aligned somebody who's succeeding, get to know who they are. And every time you talk to someone, introduce them. So that's the third thing I do is I get out of the way. I introduce them to other people. I promote some kind of event like Peak that's coming up this, this coming weekend. Excuse me, this next weekend. And again, I don't care where you are in the world. You should be heading to Peak. You should be promoting that nonstop. Even if you're in a situation where you're saying, Josh, I can't go. You know, I'm on the East Coast. There's no way I can go. Or, you know, I'm up in Canada. Uh, you know, in Quebec, I can't go, or I'm, I'm down in Mexico City, that's far away, or I'm in wherever I'm at, you may say that that's far, I get it, but still you can promote it, because you never know who you're talking to, you may bump into someone as you're promoting it this week, that they, the money for them is not an issue, for them going last minute to see that an opportunity that can change their life, they can add value to their family for generations, that's not a big stretch for them, they're going to make it happen, so it's a promotion nonstop, again, what am I talking about? Demo the product, share the vision of this opportunity, where it's going, what I believe that's happening, and I promote. I promote peak. I get other people on the phone, okay? I do that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask for participation. You know, how do you see yourself getting started? Do you see yourself being a customer or an agent? Uh, and, the, and the fifth thing, most important thing, in my opinion, is getting referrals. So as you're doing this process, inevitably you're going to start getting customers and agents. Now, Customers, I want to share something I learned about customer acquisition. I'm seeing a lot of people do it around the country, and it's crazy, folks. People aren't selling these products right. These products, when, when you have the application, you'll see three different prices. Or you see the uh, v or the the you got a bundle and save price, you got a VIP price, and you got a retail price. Look, the retail price is the price of these products. That's the price. Anytime you're helping someone get you know, if you're in business, you buy something for ten dollars. You want to market it for as much as possible. Now, I'm, I'm not. This isn't ten bucks. Don't hear what I'm saying. I don't care what business you're in. This bottle of water here, okay? If you bought this bottle of water for fifty cents, you'd want to sell it for a dollar, wouldn't you? Why? Because that's profit. That's being in business. What a lot of people I see they're doing is like, I got this for fifty cents. You know, and they try to give it away for forty cents. So like, you know, here it's forty cents. Just take it. I paid fifty cents. You can have for forty cents. And I'm being a little facetious, but really, my friends, look, you want to you want to market it for retail. These are retail products, so when I'm getting a customer, I want them to buy at retail. Now, if they want to buy more products, I can say, listen, once you've accomplished five hundred dollars in in product purchase, you get a point per dollar. Once you've accomplished five hundred dollars in a year, now you're a VIP and you get these VIP pricing. I'm gonna show them the VIP pricing. Once you've, once you've proven your loyalty, once you've been a loyal company, just kind of like your airlines do, you know, they give you more benefit as the more miles you fly with them or your credit card company, the more you spend with them, the more benefit they give you, the more cash back and whatnot. Same thing here with Secret. Almost every customer program is like that in the marketplace. When you're loyal, they, they provide you. Make sure people can hear me. Okay. I'm getting. Okay. Breaking up. Um, okay. Not exactly certain why. Um, I'm going to turn this off. Maybe that'll help. So it won't break up anymore. Okay. Stacy has just sent me a message. That she can't get on. Um, I'm sorry, Stacy. If you can hear. Uh, maybe you can log in to another, just create another Gmail account and just log in and you'll be okay. Okay, you should be fine if you can do that. I don't know how to get you back. Um, I, I guess I must have hit something wrong. I apologize for that. But hopefully we can get you back on here. Definitely want everyone to hear from you because uh, you've done a phenomenal job. So maybe you can just get a new Gmail account real quick uh, or sign into a different Gmail account, maybe your husband's account and just come right through. And uh, click on it, and you should be able to. You should be able to get in, no problem. Okay. Uh, in fact, uh, if you text me over your email address, I'll uh, I'll invite you again. Maybe that'll work out. 
Okay, so in any event, let's go back to re retail pricing. So I'm showing retail price. I say, listen, if you decide today to spend over $100, you can become a VIP right now. And then every dollar once you're a VIP is worth two points. So it means to maintain it for the year, you only spend $250 and you're a VIP every year. So as long as you spend at least $250 with us, that's it. Now you can buy whenever you want. You can buy once a year, once a month, once a week, once a day. Doesn't matter. There's no obligation as a VIP customer. As long as you're at least spending either $500 if you're just piece parting it together, uh, you can you can become a, a VIP or spend $99 a day and then $250 a year, you're a VIP. However, today and today only, you can decide to become, uh, you know, you can get a bundle and save and save the maximum money just today. And this is a monthly. Uh, this is a monthly obligation. You know, this is something that you're saying. All right, I'm going to be a preferred, consistent customer. I'm going to get on a regimen. I'm going to use these products. Uh, then just understand that's that commitment. And if you're willing to do that commitment, you can get the prices for less, and you get two bonus buys today on your first time order for uh, for a special discount. That's it. Now a lot of people I'm hearing they're saying, well, you know, what? if I, I want everyone to buy at bundle and save prices, no, you don't. Okay, you don't. They're do that. That's at the rock bottom price. That's kind of like saying, you know, in secret, you want everyone to buy in Black Friday prices. No, you don't. You don't want that. Okay, you want the price to be the price. If you opened up any business and you decided to do a sale for that particular day to drive customers in, okay, and you put the margin so low you couldn't operate at that price, but it was just to get them in the door in hopes that you'd have a lot of business in the back. You wouldn't want to always sell at that price because why? You'd go out of business. Guys, we're in business to be in business. That this is a benefit for the customer and a benefit for you as an agent to get people to become a customer right now and to be consistent, to plan it in their mind. I can't believe I have so many people saying, "Well, you know, they, they'll sign up a customer and say, okay, well, I'll go, go cancel it for you.' Don't even get them in as a bundle and save customer. This program's not for them. Okay, you're you're short circuiting your business. So that's acquiring customers. Let me just put that aside. We're going to go into more of that later. Okay, for sure. But uh, in, in, in the next couple of weeks, we're going to talk more about how to sell the product. I'm not going to do that today. We're going to have an expert do that. But uh, some of those people are going to become agents. When they become agents, there's a certain way to structure. Now, the good news is, you know, every one of you has a support team. There's a sponsor uh, that you have. Now, your sponsor uh, has a right team and a left team. And I don't know which way it is. Maybe this is your left team and right team, depending on how you're looking at it but you have a right team and a left team. Isn't that true? Okay, now as you're building the team, a sponsor has a right team and a left team, and they are gonna place you on one of those two teams, okay? And again, I, I want everyone to understand is it doesn't matter what side you're on. It really doesn't. All that really matters if you're gonna succeed is what you do. It doesn't matter what your sponsor does at all. Your sponsor may do nothing. In fact, the majority of the time, that's what happens. The sponsor does nothing. They can shake their hand, and that's it. I learned this a long time ago. To be successful, I think if it's to be, it's up to me. If it's to be, it's up to me. I can't tell you how many people I get in. I work with in my now twenty-year career. In fact, in in 15 days, I'll have been this profession for 20 years. I know I don't look it, thanks to Secret. <laughs> but truly, and I, there will be people that will get involved in business and they're going to blame everyone. You know, what's just not working? My sponsor's horrible. You know, this person's bad, that person's bad. It is horrendous. Again, and I'm gonna just, uh, I see you, Stacy, right now. Let me go to you in a second. Let me finish with this thought and then we'll go to the structure thing. Uh, but, this is important to realize. I learned this a long time ago. It helped, it helped me make a fortune, billions and millions of dollars by just learning a few things. This is one of those things. I, my mentor said, Josh, success a life of responsibility. Full responsibility. Even when it's not their fault, it's responsibility for everything. And they say, if it's to be, it's up to me, and they don't blame anyone. Okay? Successful people. The real successful people become big problem solvers. They, they accept the responsibility. Uh, failures okay, are the blame masters. So 
they blame everyone. They just they live a life of blame. Successfully blame responsibility. Failure to live a life of blame. And I'm sure you've seen a ton of them. It's always everybody's fault. Well, it's the government. It's my mom. It's my dad. It's some, my 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 stupid outline. The stupid company. The stupid organization. All these people don't work. They decide to do not. They blame, 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 blame. Now, my friends, if you want to succeed, I'm certain you do. I'm certain you do. My mentor said, take responsibility. It doesn't matter what your upline does. I want to pause that for a second because I don't want to waste Stacey's time. We've got this amazing uh, a woman I had the privilege of uh, meeting uh, just recently, and she is doing the phenomenal stuff. 24, as I'm aware of, a customer's baked at 25th already. Stacey, with the vision cast, uh, it's an honor to be with you. Sorry about the technical difficulty, uh, but I'm glad you joined us. Uh, can you share just a little bit about your background and then kind of share with us how you did it, you know, how you how you get so many customers? Well, thank you so much for having me. I'm so sorry about the technical difficulties, but we worked through it. Um, Hi, Secret Family. It's an honor to be here, really. I'm very humbled by this. This is absolutely wonderful. My background, you know, I graduated high school, I went to college, and I've just been, for 21 years, kind of hopping around from job to job. I was in the hospitality industry, I was in sales, and my most recent job, I was working, making medicine, of all things. And I never really found that passion, something that I actually loved, and loved doing, and loved going to work every day. Until I found Secret, and my wonderful leader, Jenna Padoni, introduced it to me in October, and I joined, and honestly have never looked back. Um, not that it's not been without struggles, you know, definitely this winter there's been struggles, but it's just helped me grow a little bit stronger every single day, reaching out to new people, and you know, this, this actually, this month, this is the last day of the month, I've had 25 new VIP customers, which is amazing. I did four wow parties to do that. I've made a thousand dollars in E4 credit, which is amazing. I can't even believe that myself. And over eight hundred dollars in commissions just on wow parties. So, if I can do it, really anyone can do it. And the best part is, is I actually have four shares in the global pool, which I'm so excited about. You know, I. I Honestly, couldn't have done this alone. I have great leaders to thank. You know, Jenna Padoni has been absolutely wonderful to me. She's not only a mentor to me, but she really has become like a sister to me. And I know she's got tons of sisters. She doesn't need one more, but she is just absolutely wonderful. Mike and Nancy Roy have been awesome as well. They're there for anything that I ask them to do. Josh Wiles has been awesome to me as well, and I just had the privilege of meeting Josh Jenny in person on Thursday night, and then Friday I spent some time up in Maine when he was there, and it was awesome to hear his vision of the company, and I'm definitely looking forward to growing my business underneath me and not just customer base. So next time I talk to you all, it's going to be, I have so many agents, and I'm growing the business, and so that's the next my next goal. So, yeah, yeah, I mean that's that's phenomenal, Stacy. You're doing such a great job, and I appreciate you taking a three and a half hour or whatever it was, maybe four hour drive <laughs> from New Hampshire up to see us in Maine uh, twice in a row. Uh, you know, you're just doing a phenomenal job. Uh, can I ask you this before we let you go? Uh, what what is it that you're doing on a consistent basis to be able to acquire the customer base that that you're that you're acquiring right now. I'm just, that's, that's impressive. You're doing a great job. What are you doing? Well, thank you. Um, I'm just reaching out to people. I'm asking them, you know, can I treat you and a couple of friends with a facial? No pressure. It doesn't have to be a big deal. I try not to call it a party because some people get turned off with that, and it's just easy to do. Mm -hmm. uh, pe people are giving me some signals that we're, we're, we're not uh, we're not coming across but can you see me okay is, is it cutting out at all for you or is it good no, not cutting at all okay cool yeah you're coming through perfectly with uh, for me as well look I am excited because I know your success is gonna only continue to expand you know and that's the first element is that when you can acquire customers you can acquire agents I don't know we talked about the formula uh, the other day in fact this Wednesday we're gonna be going through that a little bit more in detail uh, on the Wednesday webinar but um, 
I'm excited. I'm excited to see your success. Uh, massive respect to you. On behalf of everyone here at Secret, congratulations. We look forward to seeing more of you on these vision casts. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, uh, Stacy. Bye. Well, guys, so let, let's go back to the structure situation. Again, thanks, Stacy, for making it on. Again, apologize for the uh, technical difficulty, uh, but we'll make sure that we fix these things in the future. Okay, so we've gone through this. We've talked about retail. Stacy was on talking about how that works. We got the retail. Now we start to get the, uh, the agents. We've got right team, left team. I was talking about how it doesn't matter what your sponsor does, living a life of responsibility, okay? Not a life of blame like everybody else and just deciding to build. Now, the only reason I'm going over this is because structure is important. How you structure your team and how that replicates. So it's very, very important, my friends, that you find out what side your sponsor placed you on, whether it was the right side or the left side. And if they, they're not around or they don't know, call, um, call corporate, call customer service, and they will let you know what side of the, uh, where, where you're at. And the only reason you want to know is because the very first person that you involve in the business, you want to place them on the side that your sponsor placed you on. So, for example, if your sponsor placed you on their right side, the very first person that you're going to bring in is going to also go on the right side of your organization. Okay, if your sponsor brought you in and put you on the left side of their organization, then the very first person you bring in, you bring in will go on the left side of your organization. Uh, you want to, you're going to share two lines of sponsorship with two people. Your sponsor is sharing a line of sponsorship with you as well, and, and it's very important that the first person you bring in, the biggest leader, whoever, it doesn't matter, the number one person you bring in goes on that shared side. The second person you bring in goes on the other side, whatever side that is for you, left or right. That, that qualifies you. Okay, now you're qualified to receive team commissions as long as they're both active, meaning that they're both paying uh, for a monthly membership, or I mean, not a monthly membership, but a monthly uh, subscription to the, the, the products. They, they're, they have an auto ship that every four weeks they're ordering at least 35 BV or more, okay, which is about 50 or $60 worth of product. They're both active, okay? They need to stay active for you to remain qualified. That's why it's important to get as many as possible, okay? So uh, as long as you are also doing that, you're active. You're active, you have two people you personally recruited that are active, you're now qualified to earn commissions, team commissions in your business. Now, uh, now with that understanding, now that you've got those two, then at that point, it doesn't necessarily matter. I, are you kind of keep an even built? You know, maybe the next person goes on the right and the next person goes on the left. Once, once you start to have some major organizational growth, then the, your, the personal recruiting is going to go on whichever side is doing less volume for that particular week. Okay, so for example, let's say your right team and your left team, and on your right team you have, uh, you know, a thousand in volume, meaning that, you know, you've got maybe someone bought the professional package on that side, and on the other side you only have 500 in volume. Okay, so you have one side with 1,000, one side with 500. The next recruit that you bring in would go on the side with 500 because that's the lesser side volume. It's important to do that. So you're going to, as your personal recruits are coming in, you're, you're placing them on whatever side is less, on, always on the extremes. Always, 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 extreme right or extreme left. What you don't want to do is ever place somebody on an inside line, meaning Okay, let's say you've got two people in the business. You've got Jack and Jill. Okay, Jack and Jill are in the business. Okay, Jack's on your right side, Jill's on your left side. Okay, the next person you bring in, you're gonna, you have to either put on Jill's side or Jack's side. Okay, and you're either gonna put on the left side where Jill's at or the right side where Jack's at. Okay, so if it's Josh Denny that you bring in, you're gonna place Jack, Josh, let's say, over here with Jack on the right. I'm hoping that's. I think it's mirrored, but this is the right side, then it would be there. You get where I'm going with this. Okay, so you would place me, Josh, your next recruit on, say, the right side of Jack for that, for, for that reason. Now, let's say, for example, you go out there and you get um, someone involved named Ben, okay? And Ben is a champion. And you, you, you like Jack. You know, Jack's your friend. You like him. And, you know, he's like, he's showing up and everything, and he's fired up, but he hasn't recruited anybody, he hasn't done anything, and you kind of want to help Jack out. So when Ben gets involved in the business, you know Ben. Jack doesn't know Ben. Jack doesn't know Jack, you know. Jack doesn't know Ben. 
So what ends up happening is you place Ben on Jack's left side. Why? Because you want to help Jack. You got a big heart. Your, your intentions to do the right thing. You want to help Jack out. So now you place Josh, me on the right side of Jack, and Ben, you also recruit and put him on the left side. They're both on your right team. But what happens now? Now you've got two teams. Ben doesn't care about Jack, and neither does Josh, because I don't know Jack. I don't know Jack, and neither does Ben. We don't know him. Our relationship's with you. And, the, and when you place people in the business, it's important to place them to where it benefits them the best. So it always benefits the people you bring in to put them on the extremes. Now, here's what inevitably happens. Josh, right? I'm, I go build a team. I go build it out. And Ben goes and builds it. Jack's sitting here. Jack didn't do anything. Jack hasn't built anything. Jack doesn't know anything. But Jack now starts getting a title, right? He starts advancing and he's getting paid because two lines are boosting him up. And he starts becoming a pain in the butt to Josh's team and Ben's team. Pretty soon, Ben, he's getting upset because why did you place Ben on his inside? Jack's trying to lead all these people. He's trying to teach them all everything, even though he's never done anything. All right, so as you are, uh, as you're recruiting people and, and you're building, again, you're building both sides of the deal. The last thing you want in the world is to place people, relationships that you have on the inside to help somebody else. It's not helping them. I know we think it is because we love them and we want to help them, but I promise you it is not helping them at all. It, it's doing several things. One, it's creating more work for you. You have to now build three legs now, and that's only if you did it on one side with one person versus two, but you're creating a challenge for, for the people that you, that you brought into the business. And then if you, for, like, for a guy like Jack, who's now you're building both of his teams, you'd think that he'd be grateful. But 9.99 times out of 10, they're not grateful. They feel entitled and you should do more for them. It's the weirdest thing in the world. I don't know why it works that way. Just trust me, it does. Please, for the love of God, okay? Only on the outsides. You're, you're bringing in people. You're bringing them on the outsides, okay? Only. Now, you help everybody no matter where they are. And help by, what, what I mean by help? I mean by you're taking their phone calls, you're working with them, you're talking to their people. Okay, you're working with them. You're helping them to win. You're helping them to succeed. It doesn't matter where they are. Okay, they could be on, you know, it doesn't matter. You see this thing branches out like crazy. And they could be way, you know, somewhere on inside, 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 inside. None of that matters. Okay, all that matters is does that person have heart? Does that person have desire? Does that person have willingness to win? If they do, then work with them and help them. Look, everyone that you bring in into the business is gonna add value and benefit to you. And when you have that open heart and you have that, um, that uh, abundance mentality that it's just, there's more than enough for everybody, look, you will win in ways that are hard to even describe right now. Because you never know who that person is that you're gonna meet that's gonna explode your business. You just don't know, okay? So, my friends, structure, let's go back. Always on the outsides, always, 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 okay? Never placing on the insides to help someone because it doesn't, okay? Always on the outsides. The first person you bring in is on the same side that your sponsor placed you. So if your sponsor placed you on the right, you put your first person on the right. If your sponsor placed you on the left, you put your, per your, your first person on the left, okay? You're helping everybody, all right? You, the next person you bring in goes on the other side, whatever side that is, to qualify your spot. And then balance it out. Just balance it out. Now, if you're a real strong builder, okay, and you're a serious player in the profession and you can recruit a lot of people, you may want to stay on one side for a while. You may want to build, you know, one, two, three, or five or ten in a row, get some energy going, and then build the other side, depending on how strong you are as a builder. Okay, if you're brand new, never done anything like this before, I would suggest a balanced build. Okay, that's what I would suggest until you have one side that's just going stronger than build on whichever side is less, okay? That's important to understand. Now, uh, structured, okay, you're structuring, you're building it out. Build, that, that, that's pretty much it in structure, okay? Other than that, you're working with everybody. You're working with everybody. So, and, and you always teach that. When someone's first getting involved, help them out with their first few people that get started. A lot of times they don't know. A lot of times, especially if you're, you know, a strong sponsor and you're a strong builder, you place me in the business and you recruit like 10 or 15 people on my right side, my right side's going, and the tendency for me is to put, you know, someone I recruit on my left side. Wrong. 
That's wrong behavior. It doesn't work that way. I mean, it, I mean yeah, it does, but it doesn't. It's not going to be to my benefit or your benefit or anyone's benefit. The very first person I bring in should go to that right side. Okay, that shared side I'm sharing with you is my sponsor. The next person will go on my other side. Okay, and then because one side's stronger, I'm going to spend more time on the other side until I put more volume. And then I'll go, and we'll just kind of go back and forth. Okay, this is how you're going to build a massive business. The easiest way to look at this is called 2020 vision. You will have a big vision for success, 2020 vision. But 20 recruits on your right side and 20 recruits on your left side. 2020 vision, 20 personals on both sides. I challenge you to do that. I challenge you. 20 recruits on both sides, 40 people over the next year. Some people do it over the next six months. Some people do it over the next month. Whatever it is for you, 2020 vision should be your goal. I can't see, you know, you making less than a couple hundred thousand dollars a year, a year you know, by doing that. Especially you're going to end up with three or four leaders on each side that are building, that are working, okay? Even at like a, what is that, one and a half percent or uh, you know, 15%, okay, you, you can do that. You can do that, okay? The next Vision Cast next week, we're going to be coming after peak. We've got uh, actually Tiffany Malott uh, is going to be on the Vision Cast. I'm so excited about this. Uh, Tiffany, as you know, is a crown agent. She relocated her family uh, to Australia. I know John's going to be um, uh, meeting her out there relatively soon. I know he stayed in town for peak for the North American marketplace, uh, but uh, Tiffany's actually been voted as one of the top income earners, uh, no, no, one of the top networkers, one of the top female networkers in the world. Uh, if you haven't voted, please do make sure you click on the link. It's on Facebook. Click on the link. Vote for her. Vote for her today. Okay. She's a secret family. Anytime you have someone in the secret family that's a part of something, guys, we all got to get behind every one of us. Get behind us. We're a team. We work together. In fact, John Malant is also on that list for the top uh, network marketers uh, in the world. Uh, make sure you go to those links. Vote for, vote for our own. These, these are our crown ambassadors, uh, actually, excuse me, crown agents and cabinet ambassadors here with Secret. You know, they're, they're our leadership. Guys, let's stand behind them. Let's put the votes up there. Let's show the world that we're united. It's very important to do that. You know, let's unite behind this. Go to the, go to the, the link. Find out uh, as a, a, your, your business from home uh, has put out this, uh, this contest, uh, and uh, the, the voting is on. So we can't have some other companies taking the prize. Let's keep it here with secret. Uh, and then next week, uh, Tiffany Malott on the Vision Cast, and she's going to be bringing it hard from Australia, she's in the field, she's in the trenches, she's making it happen in a huge way. Uh, so Crown Agent, Cabinet Ambassador, Ms. Tiffany Malott, next week, make sure you don't miss it. We're looking forward to seeing everyone at Peak, guys. This is the event, Peak is the conference. And I, I, like I said earlier, it doesn't matter if you, if you can come, you don't think you can come, you have no idea. Everything can change in a few days. It, it's, it's amazing, that's what I love about this profession. It's just, it can change, everything can change. It, you don't know who you're going to meet that can change your life, who's already praying for an opportunity, who's hungry, and their financial situation is not your financial situation. Their, their desire and goals may not be yours. They may be greater, they may be lesser, it doesn't matter. Get out there, promote, get the information in people's hand. Be proud, secret agents. Be proud of what we got. We got the best, mark, the best products in the marketplace. You know it, I know it. We got the best opportunity in the marketplace. The only way other people are going to get involved and understand this is that they get started with you, okay? So, look, uh, there's a link underneath the video right now. Click on it now. Click on that link. Vote for Tiffany. Vote for John. Make it happen. This, this is secret, guys. Let's show our union. Let's, let's watch the vote soar up. Like, I know there is a lot of people on this vision cast. And if all of us just do that one thing, we're going to start to attract attention to secret. And as we attract attention to secret, as a community, we all win. As it starts to grow, as the word starts to spread, you know, you're a secret agent. You're, you're here. People are going to hear about it, and they're going to come to you. They say, hey, listen, I want to know about this secret thing. I want to know what's going on. So play your part. I'm playing my part. You play your part. I voted. I hope you vote too. Uh, and uh, we're going to stay on for some questions and answers. I'm going to be on here for the next 20, 30 minutes uh, answering some questions. There's also a box right there below. You can start asking questions. For those of you who aren't familiar with this program, I don't get your name. So if you ask a question and you don't put your name in there, I'm not going to know it. Now, of course, you can remain anonymous if you choose, 
but I'm going to go to all the questions with the names first, uh, then I'll, I'll go through it because we do get an overwhelming uh, amount of questions. So, all right. Thank you, by the way, Jason and Jen, for all your wonderful help on these uh, webinars. Right there below the link for Tiffany a lot. So I am going to go to the question and answer session right now. Give me a second. Let me find out how to get here. My computer dropped us all a moment ago, which is why we had the difficulty. So let me refresh all this, my friends. By the way, thank you for your patience. Thank you all for hanging in there. You guys are awesome. I'm um, very happy and I feel very privileged you guys did what you did. Questions and answers, here we go. Okay, I know I see all the voice. Okay. I don't know what's up with the technology. I'm sorry, guys. You can't see me, can't hear me. I'm breaking up. I didn't close my – I don't know what happened. I, see, I didn't close my camera. I didn't um, turn off the mic. I, I am going to uh, – I'm going to buy a new computer. That's what I'm going to do. I don't get it. I just bought these things. They're new. All right, guys. Okay, so I mean, I'm just kind of sorting through all these technical challenges. Hi, my love. I want to say hi to everybody. It was her birthday today. Birthday party. Want to say hi? Hi, everybody. I love you, honey. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Okay. Daddy will be done real soon. Okay. Okay. And by the way. It's so interesting. Every once in a while, I get these um, these people that submit these questions. I I thought this was professional. Why do you have your kids coming into your office? I, I and for all of it, for I know most of you, but I think probably ninety nine percent of you love that that kids are coming in. I'm, I'm I'm a dad. I'm at home, and I'm not gonna stop my kids from coming to my office. So if you don't like that, I'm sorry. You know, don't don't show up anymore. So I can tell you, maybe you just don't like kids. Weirdest thing ever. But uh, you know what? It is what it is. Now I'm going to stay here making my millions of dollars with my kids coming to my room, and you can be grumpy. <laughs> That's what you want. My goodness gracious. Okay. Literally, I've gone through probably 100 of these already. Um, try to get to some questions. All right. I actually am. Um, I, you know, I appreciate, I love, thanks for all the kind comments. I appreciate you guys all hanging in with me. You guys are great sports. Um, okay. Goodness gracious. I just went through about 100 of those. Hopefully you're voting. Everybody's voting. You've liked us on Facebook. We can communicate with you more. Uh, if you haven't registered for the, um, uh, the emails, please do. We've still got a, a lot of people on, so. Okay, here we go. Where do you go in your back office to find where you place your new agents? It's a great question. In your back office, there's a little, um, once you log in, you'll see a little thing on, on um, the upper left-hand corner. It's like a, almost like a sprocket, like a settings thing. Open it up, and it'll show you binary placement, and then you can pick. You can pick extreme left lesser side, which is what I do. So it's the default. When someone goes in there, they'll always go to the lesser side. But in the very beginning, what you want to do is open up your binary, okay? And it, you'll see it on the left hand side. It'll be a little business, it'll be a little business tab. It'll you can open it up, find it. it's in there somewhere. I don't have it memorized, but it's there. Uh, and it'll look for bi your binary tree. Click on that. Open up basic binary tree, the basic one. It's the the one on the bottom and click on whichever side, the right side or left side, that your sponsor placed you on. Remember, I, they, they told you, uh, or a corporate told you, you know, you're on your sponsor's right side. So that first person, you're going to go click that little guy uh, that's to the bottom right of uh, your icon, and they'll say enroll a new agent here, and just enroll them. You can also do it on your, on, on your page. In, in fact, let me just bring this up so I can see it myself. So I'm explaining this properly. All of you here. Let's see here. 
By the way, if there's any Mac experts or people who are good with computers, I would be happy to personally work with you and give you a nice hour session, two hours on the phone for you to teach me how to make my Mac better because I, I, I spent a lot of money on this stuff and it is slow. And it's not my internet. I got the most expensive, fastest internet you could buy. And it's lightning faster than other devices. On this one, not so much. So I think I have made some mistakes. And I don't know, I put everything in hard drives, so anyway, one of you will probably help me. Send me a Facebook message, please. All right, so I'm logging into my back office. It's taken forever. Uh, on the upper left-hand corner, like I said, where you see your name, uh, there'll be that little sprocket thing, and you can go to uh, manage my website and go into that, manage your website, and you can do binary placement. It'll show you where to put that. You can also go into my business and open up that tab, and it'll say binary tree. Go to basic binary tree, and you can uh, place people there. On your home page, there should be enroll an agent. And when it pops up, it'll say place with binary tree, which is another way you can go. Okay. Or it'll say, I just got out of it. Uh, it'll say place at the bottom right or place at the bottom left or default placement. So that's probably the fastest way to do it. I didn't even know that did that. That's awesome. I'm st still used to, I just haven't signed up on, on default and have them going on their own, but uh, enroll agent place on bottom right or bottom left, depending on where your sponsor placed you. So I hope hopefully that helps. Uh, that's um, next question. Oh, I was wondering if one of these video casts we'd actually see or hear someone do a spa party and a five and five. I think that would be a huge benefit for everyone. Absolutely. Uh, we'll, we'll make that happen. I'll figure out a way to, to do that. I, I don't know. I, I think probably the best way to do it is to um, have it recorded, have it filmed so you can see different angles uh, and get the audio. And I think that'll probably be a better format, but because it's just different to do it in this environment or to have a prospect sit with you knowing that they're being filmed like this. So um, that's been our challenge in the past. Anyway, we will work that out, though, I promise you. Is there a certain dress code for peak? I would say, you know, business casual, for sure, business casual, and also bring some swimwear. Flynn family, love you guys. I know, okay. Uh, can you explain commissions based on BB and commissions based on dollars? Darlene and Peter. Hey, Darlene. Uh, Darlene, um, Peter, love you guys. Listen, the difference in commissions for dollars and commissions on BV is you make commissions on dollars for your first customer. So the, or not your first customer, but on a customer's first order. So if I'm a customer for you and, and I'm brand new to secret, my very first order, you're going to get paid on dollars. So if I order a hundred dollars, you're going to get 25% of that, which is $25 of course. After that, you're getting paid on business volume or BV. That's actually CV. It's you know customer volume. Each product you know has a uh, assigned dollar amount and assigned CV amount, or maybe BV would be uh, for lack of better terminology. That's what it looks like right now. Is BV on, on our terms of changing that because it's kind of inaccurate. But your 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 volume that we can pay out on because you know there's cost of goods. So if this product, I don't know what this cost is. I don't know what the shampoo is. You know, my wife, my wife orders everything. I just, I just work here. <laughs> she, uh, uh, if this were say fifty dollars, I know it's not that much, but let's say it is, uh, and the BV would probably be thirty-five uh, or thirty. I don't know because there's a cost of goods. There's, you know, there's manufacturing costs. There's uh, warehousing costs. There's all these little costs that go into it to make it actually profitable to do it. So we were able to pay out commissions on the commission volume, which is typically 70%. 70, 75% is our BV ratio on most of our a la carte products. Okay. So that's what I mean by you'd be getting paid on BV on your customers. If I bought this and it was $50, you're getting 25% my first time buying it, which would be you know, $12.50. However, if I when I run out, I buy it again. Now I'm already a customer. You're going to get the residual, which is on the volume. It's 20 to 25 percent based on your level of the BV, which obviously would be a little bit of a less.
but it'll be consistent cash flow. So you get more money up front for acquiring the customer, and then as they continue to use it, you're gonna get that residual income, okay? So it's we're shoving a lot of money on the front end to incentivize people like you and I to go get customers. Once we get them, we get paid a nice chunk, and in the back we get that residual income, okay? Hopefully that helps. Thank you so much, Erica and David, Hunter, Joey, and Maya. Hey, hey, I love you guys. I don't know if you're on there still watching right now, but you guys are awesome. You guys made a big impression on me. Let's see. Um, we'll be able to watch this again later. If not, you can do this again, Kate. If not, yes, I'll do this again, Kate, but the good news is my brother, who's a wizard, is going to edit this, so a lot of the junk's going to get out of it. And we will have a full video because I know some people that had video wasn't in other videos, but I think there's a full video. If not, I'll make sure I do this exact training all over again, but with visuals. Okay. So thanks, Kate. Um, I appreciate it. I do love the kids. Thanks for all those comments. Uh, let's see. Anthony from Chicago. I've never heard of people in other network marketing companies signing the distributors up under someone else's login. What are your thoughts on that? Signing up distributors under someone. I don't know who's doing that. I don't do that. Um, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, I mean, unless, unless say, say you had my login because you're working with me, and then I introduce you to my brother and you recruit him, yeah, then you'd probably want to, you know, recruit him under my login because he's actually my recruit. You know, he, I was the connection piece there. So there's can so some very you know some variable situations where that may work, but uh, this is a binary comp plan. So you always want to keep sponsorship of everyone that you personally bring into the business that that you had the relationship with first. So you had the relationship with them, you're going to place them in the organization in the straight you know straight down, you know one after another after another after another. And what I forgot to mention earlier was that the good news is that that creates a synergy. So everyone that comes in okay, can benefit everyone that came in previously. Additionally, if I'm brand new and I'm in the deal and say I'm you know, 20 levels deep from you or 100 levels deep, you've recruited 99 people first and now I'm the 100th person that comes in, okay, that's still good for me. Now, I benefit all 99 upline from me. It's good for them. But for me, I now have 99 people, including you, or maybe not including you, that want to help me win. So I have a lot more people that are going to help me also, all these people, you know, are going to also potentially be building on my right side so it can help me. So there's a lot of benefit there. Anyway, I hope that helped answer the question. Can I just focus on retail? Of course you can. You want to focus on retail? Retail all day. Make a lot of money. You know, it's cash in the pocket. David Flat, he said, love kids. Good part of the why for doing the webinar. Thanks, David. Thank you, Sandra Johnson. Yeah, I know. Some people are rude. I don't know why. Maybe they're grumpy. Maybe they don't like kids. I don't, I don't know. I love kids. I love my kids. And, um, you know, it is what it is, right? From Lou Ann Hunt, hire your cute daughter to help you with your computer. <laughs> kids know more than we do. Yes, they do. Thank you. I appreciate your kindness. <laughs> you guys are awesome, man. I tell you what. I, uh, I, I love this business. I love all the people that are involved in this business. It's just a, um, a great platform uh, to help people, uh, to be able to succeed, to live your dreams. Uh, but you know, obviously it's work. It's work, but it's, it's worth it. You know, the work is worth it. Okay, guys, I got a few more minutes. I'm going to have to cut this off. I know there's a lot of questions out there. I apologize if I didn't get to yours. Uh, but uh, you know, make sure that you stay on these vision casts. And I'll be able to do it. This Wednesday, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a special webinar on the formula to succeed. That's on my personal website, joshuadenny.com. Joshua Denny, D E N N E dot com. Uh, go to that website this Wednesday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 Eastern. I'm going to be doing a very, very special training I've not done before on the actual formula. I've done a lot of pieces of this, so you may be seeing some of it, but I'm going to put it all together in one format so we can use it. That's, that's the actual formula that I've used to succeed. I'm going to put that in there this Wednesday. Okay, so make sure you're, you're, uh, you're logged on to that webinar. I'll help you out with that. Can you explain the, the shared lag, John? Yes. We share two lines, okay? We're going to share lines with the people we bring in the business. Like, so, for example, if I bring in two people, one on the right, one on the left, I'm sharing the right side with the person I brought on the right, 
and I'm sharing the left side with the person I brought on on the left. Okay, we share lines of sponsor. I mean, everyone I bring in is going to go on one of two lines. So we're sharing lines as far as recruitment goes. Okay, um, the shared line for you uh, would be whatever line your sponsor placed you in. So you have a shared line with your sponsor. Whatever line that is, your sponsor placed you on their right side, then your right side is your shared line with your sponsor. If your sponsor placed you on the left side, then your left side is the shared side that you share with your sponsor. Okay? And the very first person we bring in always goes to our shared side. And we teach that within our organizations. Right, I hope that helps, John. Darling and Peter, will we ever have a secret app for a smartphone? Yes, we will. We will. I promise that. I don't know when. But we will have one, and it'll be awesome when we do. I heard the secret can get products to customers for less than what they are currently spending for. When I'm explaining this to a potential customer agent, they ask, how? How do you respond? I've heard that secret can get products to consumers for less. Oh, that's a, that's a great question. Great question. Okay. When you have a retail store. Okay, when you have a retail store, what happens is you have to pay for the real estate, the rent, right, of the building or the mortgage of the note if you own the building. You got to pay for uh, extra insurances and liability, and a lot of other liabilities that may happen uh, when you own a structure. Of course, there's a lot of other things that go into that. You have to have employees. Uh, typically, you have to have some kind of marketing, lots of other marketing expenses. And there's lots of little chains in the distribution. Right, from manufacturing right, to uh, maybe a, a global distributor, to a uh, national distributor, to a local distributor, all of them pitching in for advertising, all that's in the cost of the goods. Okay, sold at retail to uh, you and me, the consumer. But when you eliminate all that, eliminate the retail, uh, or I mean, eliminate the real estate and the, the extra employees and all the other things that go along with adding into the cost of a particular good or product, uh, you can pass savings on to the consumer. And there's also enough margin left to pay you and I, the agent that did the referral. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. That's, and that's networking in a nutshell. Okay, we have a couple more questions and I am going to wrap this deal up. Uh, but thank you so much. Okay, just four more. I've been with Secret for four years now. Four years I've been with Secret. Um, it's all about the PC. That's right. Jason Wiggum, much love, buddy. When I look at my binary tree, it shows that I have someone enrolled below me, but I didn't enroll her. I don't know the person who enrolled her either. How does that happen? Kim Thompson from Portland, Oregon. Kim, that's called blessings. Blessings from above. Okay, it's called, uh, um, what do I call it? Happiness from above or, um, you know, it's just, it, it, another terminology is spillage. It's the recruitment of your upline, of your sponsor. So. The people up lunching are working and they're placing in those extreme lines. This is great news for you, okay? It means you actually have other people that can contribute uh, and potentially can help you earn some significant income. So that's good news. Congratulations. And by the way, you don't have to do anything with them, okay? You may help them if you, get, if you build a relationship there, but uh, I would contact your sponsor up and find out what's going on there if you want to be of service to them. But the best thing you can do is just you just build your team. Just worry about the people you know and bring them in. I've heard that secret. Uh, but, da, 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 da. Okay, that's it, guys. Um, uh, the, the last couple questions were duplicates. I have a few more, but an honor and privilege to spend time with you next week. Tiffany Malott, set your calendars this Wednesday. I'll be on there going through the formula, and I uh, look forward to seeing all of you at peak. So God bless. Have a wonderful night. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.